Hi, welcome to Educator.com. Today's lessons, we're going to be covering uh, the content management system, and we've kind of explored it a little bit. We're going to go a little bit more um, in detail and actually edit some more products. Um, I wanted to cover uh, some of the other stuff uh, with taking some stuff out of the database. I, I mentioned before that you, we had an issue with Cartweaver not removing certain things. They can archive things to remove them off. But I'm going to show you actually how to do this. Um, so if you get stuck in that that part of the content management system you can um, you know how to edit it and there's always a way around it to take it off completely because you just don't need it okay so we want to go into um, let's see here this part of the um, the content management system we want to actually go in and see how we can archive some of these orders so let's take a look um, by actually let's go to products Products is basically going to tell us what we can actually do. We want to go to um, active products. I'm going to click on this first one here, and I'm going to go ahead and archive it. And I'll give you this little box here. Are you sure you want to archive this product? And all associated SKUs remove item from the web. It's fine. Just go ahead and archive it. And now that it's in the archive, you're going to see this. So you'll see, start to see this um, list grow a little bit as we don't really need everything in here. Okay, um, same thing with this one. And see, this is what I was talking about. This one right here um, actually doesn't have an archive. So there's actually a way to go in and actually remove it because we don't need test product, okay? But it's there, it's just there for the, the sake of seeing what, what options you can actually have. Okay, so we'll, go, we'll get back to that one. Let's see with this one. Archive product, perfect. Okay. Um, see that one. Yeah, that one did not say it. Yeah. Um, let's go back to this one. Single SKU. Okay, that one also has the same uh, issue. Uh, this one we can archive. Now let's go to. Keep going. Okay, can't do that one. Two option product. Can't do that one. So no big deal. We can actually go um, back and I'm going to show you how to, to take them out. I won't literally take them out for you uh, on this, but I'm going to show you how, how you actually go around it. Um, but right now we actually have, these are the, the live products. And I'm going to put a couple more in uh, just for demonstration so we can filter out the girls' apparel and the boys' apparel um, just to show that. Okay. So when you go into MAMP, uh, you're going to see the, the PHP My Admin button. This is where we can go into the manually into the database and actually remove what we don't want. Okay, so when you go into it, you're going to have your, uh, you know, you should be somewhat more familiar with this at this point. Uh, but we're going to go into the actual database itself. And is that the right one? Yeah. And we're going to go into products. The table products is where it's going to contain uh, that information. And if I want to go into product name, check it. You can browse it. And here's where we actually have our, our information. Now from here, all you would really do is go in and actually remove it. So let me see. What we had here was cheap test product. That was the name of it. If I want to go in and take out um, cheap test product, I go here, hit delete. You want to delete um, the yeah, gone. That's all it is. Simple as that. And this this is the, the back end of the database. So what you're losing right now in the content management system is the front end. So you hear front end and back end, this is what we're talking about. Um, you know, this user interface is, you know, it's okay, but it's, you know, there's a lot going on. The other content management system that we're using for Cartweaver is a lot more easier to use. It's, it's it, uh, simple uh, English as opposed to trying to read table contents that what they've uh, put in already. So this makes it a little bit more easier to read and a little bit easier on the eyes. So if I go.